An exposure adjustment layer is an additional option for fixing exposure issues in an image. Both the exposure and vibrance adjustment layers allow users to change the intensity of an image. Exposure replicates the effects of additional exposure or lack of exposure would have on the image. Vibrance allows users to increase the color intensity of the image through vibrance and saturation sliders. I have a couple of images open that we've been using. So if you've already pulled them off the open graphic arts, that's what I'm going to use for the next adjustments. And so we'll apply these just like we did our other adjustment layers. And so select your layer. I like to make sure it's a regular layer. Use the new adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. And then this time we're going to experiment with the vibrance and the exposure. And so we'll do exposure first just because that's what comes first in the lecture. Uh, when you are using the exposure, uh, what I like to do, because I'm not a photographer, I'm, I'm a printer by trade, and I'm not the best photographer, you can see from our supplied images, we use my images because bad images need to be fixed, and so uh, we use my bad images for the class. Uh, but one of the things I like to do to make myself better or to appear better is I use the presets. And so when I look at the exposure and I see there's a preset, before I do anything else, I'm going to click through and see see what that does. And so minus one would lower the exposure. It would pretend like when I was capturing the image with my camera that I had a lower exposure setting. And if I do it again, it will get even darker. And then plus would mean it would have a longer exposure time and an even longer than that. And I think that this image in particular, it doesn't really need too much of an adjustment. It has a pretty good exposure time. But if we compare that to our image of the Utah Slot Canyon and we apply the same exposure adjustment layer, so um, if I went too fast there, I converted the layer to be a regular layer, I hit the new adjustment layer icon, and then I chose exposure. This time if I use those defaults, so minus makes it darker and I don't want that, I could do a plus one or even a plus two. Um, in my case, the problem with this image is not that the whole image was too dark or the whole image was too light. It was that the sun was shining through on the sky and so the sky captured nicely but the foreground didn't because it was shade and so I couldn't use the exposure to fix this just by using a preset. Um, I would have to use a exposure adjustment plus a layer mask or I'd have to do a couple different things to get it to be perfect. So let's compare that to what a vibrance adjustment does. And so a vibrance adjustment will do the same thing. Hit the new adjustment layer icon, the bottom of the layers panel. Choose the vibrance adjustment. There are two settings that you can adjust on the vibrance setting. So saturation is making it more colorful or less colorful. And so if you slide to the right, you'll start to blow your colors out. And if you slide to the left, you'll start to remove color until there's no color left in the image. And so you could use this to kind of lower the saturation, let it, let it look less kind of intense. Or maybe you want it, the colors to look more red than you were able to capture in your picture. You can slide that to the right. We'll put that back at zero. The vibrance, if you slide that, you'll see that it just makes the whole image look more intense. And it's a better option for increasing the saturation. If we compare this to zero, see how it gets much more dull? So by using a vibrance, we were able to make the image look more vibrant and more colorful without blowing the color out like we would if we just used saturation. And so that's kind of a fun way to add some warmth or some pop of color back into your picture without kind of blowing. Let's do that one more time. So let's use this one since I haven't demoed with it yet in this video. And so we will convert the background to be regular layer. You can apply a new adjustment layer. We'll use vibrance. And so if I increase the saturation, this one has a lot of bright colors. As I do it, it's going to be like so bright, it's almost painful to look at. But if you increase the vibrance, you can kind of add a more subtle pop to the image without making it blown out. And so I have the vibrance set at 100, which is the max. And you usually never want to set it to the max. But even comparing that, it's not that bad compared to if I was just to blow the color out, if I was to oversaturate the image. So you maybe undersaturate the image and then bring some color back in with vibrance. It does kind of a cool effect. 